Hello friends, welcome back to Endo Tales from Life. In this video, we are going to see about a new product with the help of which a different type of root canal irrigation technique can be performed. Uh, theoretically, this is not a new technique. This is also called as the continuous ultrasonic irrigation. Uh, but uh, recently, I bought a new uh, ultrasonic device which is actually meant for portable uh, uh, sc scaling or oral prophylaxis. Uh, but when I saw the equipment, when I saw the accessories along with it, I realized that uh, continuous ultrasonic irrigation is possible with that. So I gained some interest in that and I went through some literature and also tried it on a patient and I want you all to witness what this new technique can do. Let's straight away go to the video. Continuous Ultrasonic Irrigation In anodontics, we have two types of ultrasonic irrigation. Number one is the passive ultrasonic irrigation which is very popular. In passive ultrasonic irrigation, we fill the canal passively with few drops of the irrigant and also make sure the pulp chamber acts as a reservoir for the irrigant following which we use a file or a tip that is connected to the uh, ultrasonic unit which is in a dry mode and this is used for activation of the irrigant that has been passively placed in the canal. On the other hand, continuous ultrasonic irrigation is the second type of ultrasonic irrigation where both the irrigant delivery and the activation happens simultaneously. So we are going to talk in depth about this cult continuous ultrasonic irrigation device and we are also going to critically see if this can be an alternate method for syringe irrigation. So as usual I would like to disclaim that our videos are not uh, having any conflict of interest towards any particular product and this video is not to promote any particular brand or a product. So we all know that the most common way of performing root canal irriga irrigation is with the help of syringe and specific irrigation needles and off late the 30 gauge irrigation needle, the closed end and side port needles are very popular. And we also recently have these plastic tapered irrigation needles that are bendable and at the same time have a great flow. In this video we are going to see about a new product which can be used for this continuous ultrasonic activation. So this is the Woodpecker UDS-E model and how this is different from the regular piezoelectric units or that the regular piezoelectric unit needs a separate water supply which uh, has to be given. But this one just needs a power supply and there is a separate tank or a small reservoir which can hold the water or saline or uh, any specific liquid that is needed based on the purpose. So this unit also has some endo accessories making it possible to perform continuous activation, continuous ultrasonic irrigation. So what are the things that we need to know is this does not require a syringe. Instead, the U file that is used for activation also can deliver the root canal irrigant the, from the reservoir which holds the irrigant. And this is how the irrigant is being delivered and also activated at the same time. So what are the essentials, what are the special endo accessories that we need to have? So this unit provides them, when you buy this unit, it also has this specific endo chuck which is used for holding the tip that is used for irrigant activation which is called as the U-file. So the difference that we need to know here is that U-files also come in stainless steel but for endodontic irrigation, we prefer night type u files as they are flexible and they have very low cutting efficiency we do not want cutting efficiency here because if it's going to be a stainless steel u file it can create ledges it can change the shape of the canal and that is not what we want so what we prefer is a u file that is made of nickel titanium and we also know that 
the maximum effect of ultrasonic that is cavitation and acoustic streaming happens when the file does not bind in the canal. So we prefer the smallest size file possible and in this video I will be using the size 15 night type U file. So to uh, secure this endo chuck to the handpiece we have a special tightening device like this which is slightly different from the other scalar tightening tips. So let us see how the U file is attached to this endo chuck. There is a vise in the head of this endo chuck which can be loosened so that the diameter of the slot increases and allowing me to place my U file here this uh, it's a 15 size NITA U file once it's placed in the slot now the vise is turned clockwise and it's further tightened with the device provided. So as I earlier mentioned we prefer night tie as it's flexible and does not have a cutting tip and also the smaller size file has more space to uh, uh, oscillate inside the root canal. And now this endo chuck along with the U file can be attached to the piezoelectric handpiece. The same tightening wrench can be used for securing the endo chuck to the handpiece as well. This unit also additionally has an LED light. So let us see how this unit is set up for performing continuous irrigation. So this is the device and now we are going to remove the reservoir from the unit. There is a lid which is again now open and the reservoir has labeling. We can measure the irrigant. So based on their requirement we can uh, mix our irrigant. Here I am going to make a 100 ml of irrigant solution. The concentration and the composition of the irrigant will be discussed later in the video. And once the unit is set up like this, it is ready for the continuous irrigation. And for performing continuous irrigation, we need to make sure that the device is not in the dry mode, it should be in a wet mode and the power setting has to be set very low. So there is an endo mode which when you select the endo mode it automatically selects the lowest power. So at the maximum one or two should be the power setting and we can adjust the amount of irrigant that you need to be delivered with the help of this knob. So the device is all ready to perform the continuous irrigation. And this is the slow motion, you can see the acoustic streaming and the cavitation or the micro bubble explosion that happens through the tip. So let us see a clinical case in which uh, only continuous irrigation was done with the help of ultrasonic and no syringe irrigation was done at all. So here is a maxillary premolar, maxillary second premolar which was non-vital, necrotic and we can see that after the first rotary file is being used there is a lot of debris in the canal and in this particular scenario after this we are going to perform continuous irrigation and no syringe irrigation. You can see the entire root canal and the pulp chamber coronal third is full of debris and here we are with the help of 15 size NITA file we are performing irrigation and activation simultaneously and we can see the debris getting clear so we further perform the shaping and intermittently we do the same continuous irrigation
here again we can see that the irrigant is debriding the canal much efficiently as both a higher volume of irrigant is used with activation and now the master cone radiograph was taken to verify the fit and before the final obturation we are going to perform again a final irrigation so personally I would prefer a longer contact of the irrigant and an increased volume of irrigant than increasing the concentration of the irrigant so there are references for this and this is what studies recommend which recommends the use of multiple rotary files, longer contact time and higher volume of irrigant than the concentration. So the final irrigation is also performed with continuous irrigation here. an average 15 to 20 seconds per canal and this is the final clean canal you can see even the isthmus space is nice and clean and we prefer to do the single cone technique which is the hydraulic single cone technique with the bioceramic sealer and we did not perform any thermoplastic technique there is no down pack or warm vertical compaction done Still you can see a nice fill of the isthmus spaces and immediately after obturation the orifices are sealed and this is the result. So we very well know that the secret behind filling the a complicated anatomy and the complicated apical third is good cleaning and in this case we can owe this good obturation to the kind of cleaning that has been performed with the help of continuous ultrasonic activation and with little bit of magnification you can see all the multiple portals of exit and lateral canals cleaned and filled with just a single cone bioceramic technique and this is another view you can even see uh, a lateral canal almost uh, 6 to 7 millimeter from the apical, uh, apical end of the root canal. So now let's uh, discuss critically about this technique and is it uh, good enough to perform this in all the cases and is this the only brand that is available in the market. So when I uh, also made a search for the alternate brands this is what I found in the literature. So NSK also has a piezoelectric unit similar to this one and what is interesting is that Densply has a unit which is specifically made for endodontic continuous irrigation. So in this, this is called as the Pro Ultra piece of flow. And in this, not only that uh, we have an ultrasonic continuous irrigation supply, but this also has a needle through which the irrigant can be delivered. So this basically has a separate tube that is attached to this tip and we need to attach a syringe a 10 ml syringe and a person can manually inject along with agitation so personally i think the technique that we performed was much simpler compared to this but the only advantage is we have uh, an, uh, can have an exactly lesser volume of irrigant that you want whereas in our technique we need to have at least 50 to 100 ml of irrigant to fill the uh, reservoir in the unit and yes, there is another system also uh, from Vista, which is called the V-Pro Stream Clean System, which is also continuous uh, irrigation, uh, ultrasonic irrigation. So this is vibrant. This is exactly not a passive, uh, this is exactly not an ultrasonic continuous technique, but this is a sonic device, which also has a battery operated agitation. So along with irrigation, this also performs sonic agitation. But uh, the thing what we have been performing in this particular technique is ultrasonic whereas this vibrance is a sonic device. Now let's uh, uh, critically analyze based on evidence or literature and research. 
So this was a study that compared passive and continuous ultrasonic irrigation for the cleaning efficacy of lateral canals and you can find that uh, this study showed that the continuous ultrasonic irrigation is really efficient basically because there is a continuous replenishment of irrigant which is lacking in passive ultrasonic irrigation so along with activation the amount of debris that is being collected is being washed out and newer irrigant is being replaced which makes this technique a little more efficient and you can see in this study there are three uh, groups basically the first group is the what you see on the left is syringe irrigation and this is the amount of irrigant penetration with just syringe irrigation and the one in the middle is passive ultrasonic irrigation which definitely is better than syringe irrigation but we can see that the continuous ultrasonic irrigation is very effective you can see the amount of flow of the irrigant both apically and into the lateral canals but there is also a flip side to this and why this technique is in spite of this technique not being very new why is it not so popular is that it's well established that this technique can produce cleaner canals but uh, this there are studies which have shown that the chances of irrigant extrusion is really high with this technique so here's the word of caution for people watching who have been uh, thinking that wow there is a new technique to which i can completely shift it is efficient but we need to know that there is a high chance of irrigant extrusion but is it really alarming is it, does that mean that the syringe irrigation is safe and the continuous irrigation is really risky the answer is uh, in this particular study you can see that they performed the technique by which they found out uh, among the three groups the one on the left is syringe irrigation the second one is going to be the continuous ultrasonic irrigation and the third one is endovac which is a negative pressure system and we can clearly see that syringe irrigation also causes extrusion and in this study syringe i mean the irrigant extrusion happened more in syringe extrusion than the continuous irrigation so yes there is risk but can it be used with caution the answer is definitely yes and only negative pressure irrigation systems like endovac which are also clinically complicated uh, have a very safe are very safe in this particular aspect of apical debris extrusion so uh, let us answer the question that was asked in the beginning is continuous ultrasonic irrigation an alternate to syringe irrigation let us answer this with evidence and logic so number one i would like to tell you that uh, this technique can be used even as a beginner but what modification we recommend is to do only continuous irrigation with saline do not use hypo uh, as a beginner of people who don't use microscope because you do not have a control over the irrigant extrusion so even if uh, it's going to be an experienced dentist still uh, what is recommended is to use a highly diluted solution this is basically to increase the volume debride and if you want full strength solution which can be used in the end in a passive way for cleaning the root canals so what uh, irrigant i used in this particular case is a very diluted hypochlorite so something somewhere between 0.5 to 1% of sodium hypochlorite with a uh, a chelating agent which is a mild chelating agent which is also uh, something called as continuous chelation i used uh, hebp powder along with this again in a much lower concentration than what the manufacturer recommends so this is basically uh, a solution that is used more in volume for debriding the root canal but also the lower concentration of hypo and the chelation is going to help uh, uh, for effectively debriding the smear layer and penetrating into the lateral canals and also disruption of the biofilm so what is the take home message from here is that restrict your continuous irrigation to only cases with closed apex and sizes that have been prepared if your apical preparation size is really uh, not too big so this is the take home message from this new technique so every new technique is exciting at the same time we should not blindly jump into it 
I want you to critically analyze the pros and co uh, the cons before you use it in your practice. So for using high strength hypochlorite even now what is recommended is the passive syringe based irrigation where you have a control you can add just a few drops of a concentrated hypochlorite solution if you prefer internal heating or do a additional activation with sonic or ultrasonic so when it comes to passive ultrasonics there are a lot of devices in the market so we have a video in our own youtube channel where i compare all the devices that are used for passive ultrasonic uh, activation both the ultrasonics and the sonics so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you found something useful in this video so we'll be coming up with more such videos and till then uh, if you want to have a look at more of our educational content, you can follow us in these different social media platforms. And for people who are interested to learn to learn more of clinical endo, uh, you are welcome to our two-day comprehensive endodontic workshop.